significant. I think it's less likely that Iran will get directly involved. I mean, the reason that the Americans have projected force into the eastern Mediterranean and the British too, at a lesser extent, is to deter Iran from getting directly involved. I don't think Iran wants to get involved. And so unless something really catastrophic happens, I don't see this spreading beyond Hezbollah and Hamas. Right. But nevertheless, if you've got Hezbollah involved, that's a pretty powerful force, very destabilizing the Middle East as a whole. You've got Russia and Ukraine conflict still going on. You've got the possibility at some point in the future of China taking advantage, trying something on with Taiwan. That sounds very much like a, a kind of World War Three scenario. Well, there are three very separate conflicts. I mean, there's no doubt that Putin is one of the winners from the Middle East conflict uh, at the moment because attention is switched away from Ukraine uh, to the Middle East. But nonetheless, uh, that that conflict, I think, is separate. I think China has actually learned lessons from Ukraine and is probably less likely to take military action on Taiwan than perhaps was the case a couple of years ago. So it doesn't necessarily mean the start of World War Three. Well, that's uh, some optimism, at least. So, Mark Lyle-Grant, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.